Okay, I've been asked how the flame rod actually rectifies current from AC to DC. To start out with, uh, you need to understand that this, well here's a set of burners right here, here's the flame rod and it's going to sit in the flame. And the flame can actually rectify the current. It has a conductor, it'll conduct power through the flame. It won't conduct a lot, but it will some. So what we do is we feed alternating current into this flame rod and we expect when it goes through the flame to the body of the burners here because that's the circuit going through the flame rod to the uh, essentially chassis ground it will rectify it so how does it do it it's uh, actually really simple notice the flame rod is pretty small but the burners are large so when that AC power is fed in now AC power is going to reverse polarity you know 120 times a second well when this power comes in and it builds up it's, it's, it's wanting to go to ground but there's the only way to get it is to the uh, uh, through the flame so power builds up on this side in let's say positive and this is negative well and then it reverses this here is positive and this is negative so it's constantly reversing that way so in order to get that DC power back you need to understand there's a lot of space area on these burners compared to the size of the flame rod. The flame rod is going to have that that uh, power, let's say positive again, build up on it, but it's not going to have a whole lot of space because it's small. But the burner is a great big thing. If the burner builds up uh, positive, then more of it is going to travel from the burner to the flame rod because there's more space. Then when the flame rod, it reverses and the flame rod tries to push the power through, it's got this little bitty buildup. So it doesn't move very much electricity through. So the vast majority of the electricity is going one way. Go over it again. This gets energized positive in one part of the cycle. Builds up a charge and the charge moves across the flame to the flame rod okay because there's a lot of space for the positive charge to build up on more of it will go through then when this is positive here in the next cycle there's not very much space on here so when it goes to jump across it will go across but it goes across much much smaller and so you get an effective DC current now, I hope that's understandable it isn't really that complicated it's just the amount of space on one side compared to the amount of space on the other so I hope you understand that one that is why the flame rod works or why the flame rod creates DC